Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm gonna do a haul. It's not like a crazy haul, but it's a pretty good haul. It's definitely a very decent haul. I did find some good stuff. So I'm just gonna jump right into it because I don't wanna just talk. So let's just jump right into this. So this dress, I kind of knew it was something great when I felt the material because it felt like really soft. I don't know how to explain this fabric. Let me see if I can find what the fabric actually is made of. And color of the tag, this is from last week, like Thursday, I think. Uh, color of the tag was, the half off tag was red. So, oh my gosh, why can't I find this? So anyway, on this dress, I knew it was something good because of the way it felt. So I like instantly knew, and now I can't find. We're, oh, here it is. Okay, I knew it was something good because the material, and sure enough, I looked, looked, looked. I kind of almost thought it could have been... I knew it wasn't Lululemon because I couldn't, like, feel for it what it was, but it ended up being Patagonia. Patagonia. There it is. And it was definitely hidden, so I looked, like, for a few minutes trying to find where it was because I knew it was, like, good. So it's a really cute little dress. It's like a spandexy material. It crisscrosses in the back. Super, super cute. It's like a little mini style dress and the pattern is adorable. So definitely love that. And that was $5. So I think I could get about 30 bucks for that. Maybe a little more maybe. I don't know. I, I've really only come across Patagonia like one other time. So it's definitely not something I come across a lot. So since the color of the week was red, I found this little blouse because and I got it because it was only two dollars but it's missing the size tag so that kind of sucks but it does look like it's a size large but I'm not sure so I'm just gonna put the measurements it was two dollars and it's Daniel rain so I definitely felt like I couldn't pass that up then I found this splendid top which splendid is like a hit or miss brand I sometimes pick it up um, depending on style it's like, I, I think I actually, in my What Sold video last week, I put a Splendid shirt that sold. It was like a, a checked pink shirt. If you guys saw the video, then you saw it. So this is something similar to that style. Um, it's Splendid, and it is animal print. Animal print sells really well on its own, and it's Splendid. It's a button-down, really nice. Definitely think that will sell for like 25, 30 bucks. Then I found this Daniel Rain. Um, little blouse that's like a button up or a button down really really cute with lots of like cute rose florals I love it and the bottom is even cuter like you see how it has that there really cute and then it has like some lace detail in the back freaking adorable this blouse is adorable I love that so another 25 bucks for that then I found this Garnet Hill which Garnet Hill does sell pretty well for me I sold a dress not that long ago for like 25 bucks Actually, it was a very similar to this style. It's just like a black little throw dress. I sold it for $30, and this one was $5, so I think I could sell it for the same. Again, it was very similar. The last dress. Okay, this is a dress, and this is a Ted Baker London dress, which Ted Baker is definitely one of those hit or miss brands, but this dress is so cute. Really, really pretty. It has some nice detail um like some paneling there and then it's kind of like a peplum i don't know i just thought this dress was adorable and it was five dollars and i think i could sell it for at least forty dollars maybe a little bit more i don't know i haven't really checked comps on ted baker um okay now this dress is definitely one of those brands that i wasn't expecting it to be so good and it's actually a very nice brand to sell and the brand is karina Cremaldi. I've never sold this brand, but comps look really, really solid. Um, and it was $5, and I'm not really too sure what I could get for this. It's a really pretty dress. Um, it's open back. It has, like, that whole slit in the back. Really, really cute. So, I don't know. I have to do some more research into that. If you've sold it, definitely let me know. I just, I pulled, like, some very fast comps, and it looked definitely like a very good piece. Next. Um, if you guys watched my vlog and my last haul, then I did say, like, this is a Vince piece that I wouldn't pick up. Well, this is a Vince piece that I would pick up because it's a really cute little dress. And these Vince dresses sell so well for me. And it's, like, this silk 
um, it's just like a shift dress. It's nothing crazy, but these sell really well in my opinion. Uh, then I got this aqua dress because it was $2.50, so I picked it up. It's nothing too serious. Aqua sells okay for me. This is a really cute dress. I think I could get about 15 or 20 bucks for it. Um, it's not like one of those, oh my god, what a great brand, but it's definitely not an awful brand, so I figure it was $2.50. Why not get it just to kind of, you know, up my reviews and stuff. So this one was $2 and it is a, it was half off. So that's why I picked it up. I typically wouldn't pick this up unless it was half off. And it's a Nordstrom brand, Hologen, um, and it was $2. So I picked it up. It's a nice little career ruffle blouse. If you guys notice in my videos, I definitely do give off keywords. Like when I'm filming in, in these haul videos, I, I give off like, um, Keywords, I say how pretty much I would um, describe it in the in the title. <laughs> um, then I found this Ninette Lepore, which I picked it up because this one I looks like one of her higher end pieces. Um, looks like one of her higher end pieces. The tag looks higher end at least. And it's just like a really cute dress. It was only $5. So I picked it up. I don't think I will get much for it, but maybe $25 or $30. It's a really nice dress. So that's always nice. Then I also, this is so unlike me, but I just really liked it. I don't know. I liked it and it was $2. So I got it. It's American Eagle. It's one of those that will definitely, um, you know, give a good review. So that's why I got it. Really cute little flowers. Um, I think about 15, 10 bucks for that. 10 bucks maybe, which is fine. You get the review, you get maybe a, a repeat customer. Then I got this cold water Creek, which was half off also. So it was $2 and it's just like a really cute little, um, button, little button ruffle career dress. And it's a very nice size. It's a size um, large 14 16 so really cute I like the pattern again another 15 20 bucks for that then I got this BCBG generation that was two dollars and fifty cents which is why I picked it up and it was half off and that's why I picked it up but see you could see the BCBG tag and it's just like a really cute little khaki style dress with some ruffle detail, so you can't go wrong with that. That's, that'll be another 20 bucks. So you see that I spent under $10 and that those three things could potentially bring me like 60 bucks. So yeah, that's why I picked it up. So the next part of the haul is all jeans, which I used to not really like picking up pants, but I gotta tell you, I'm really, really loving the whole pants situation. Pants definitely are easier to, um, to like take pictures of because you just put them on the floor if you have some nice wood floor which if you see how I take pictures of the video I posted that's how I do it or I put it like on a backdrop on the floor super easy to take pictures of super easy to measure I am loving pants so I think there's like nine nine pairs of pants all designer denim pretty much um the first pair are these page jeans oh and then I wish I would have been vlogging at that point they were charging 20 no 50 dollars for true religion jeans it was so funny like i put it in my cart because i thought the five was just a five i didn't realize it was 50 dollars. so and it had a red tag so when she said oh these are 25 i was like what i i literally i said what and she said they're they're 50 and they're half off so they're 25 i was like definitely not so that's fine i didn't get them but i'm not gonna cry about it um Okay, so the first is these page jeans, which if you guys saw, I just sold a pair of page jeans. These are really cool because they're like the black, um, the really dark denim. So this is great. I've actually sold two pairs of page jeans in the past week, I think. Um, so page sells really well for me. So this will be an easy 25 bucks, and they were $6. I'm actually going to photograph pants before my assistant gets here. I'm going to do that now. Um, okay, uh, next are these Citizen of Humanity, which I... Personally, Citizen of Humanity are some of my favorite jeans. I love Citizen of Humanity jeans, so I instantly knew what brand this was. I didn't even check comps because I've never picked up Citizens of Humanity. Um, so I didn't even pull comps, but I love Citizens of Humanity jeans, and I usually buy them for myself in store. So I know that they are very pricey jeans, um, but I love them. So 
These are Citizen of Humanity, which is what the tag looks like. Um, and they're really, they're just like a plain, solid, nothing, they're just jeans. I mean, there's not much to say about jeans. So the pockets, they have a little design. That's the Citizen of Humanity, usually what they look like on the back. So you guys know when you're looking at jeans. Um, there's not much to say about jeans other than they're jeans. They're in like very good condition. I have to pull comps on Citizen. I think I got two pairs of Citizens of Humanity, did I? I may have. Then I got J Brand, which J Brand is a goodie. J Brand sells pretty well for me. Um, 30 bucks, maybe. Um, and all the jeans I got were $5 and under. I don't get jeans that are more than $5. Some of them were half off, but I don't get uh, jeans that are more than $5. So, J Brand. I like J Brand. Um, and they're just like a dark wash. I don't, there's like not much to say about jeans, I feel. So I'm just gonna go through them as fast as I can because they're jeans. Um, let's see here. Are these the citizens? I think these are citizens. Yeah, they are. Uh, yeah, they are. So yeah, I really like citizens of humanity jeans. But anyway, a design on the pocket, very similar to the other ones I just showed you. They may be from the same person. Um, again, they have the little tag on the butt. And here is the, um, the little thing. Easy to miss. If you didn't know what you were looking for, somebody would easily not think these were designer jeans and just skip right over them. So make sure you keep your eye out for some designer jeans. Next are these Not Your Daughter's Jeans, which Not Your Daughter Jeans sell really, really well. And they're pretty easy for me to come by. Um, yeah, so these are great jeans. My mom likes these jeans. Um, and then they have, like, the little red. So they do stick out because they a lot of them have, like, the little red thing. Um, I think the other pair I got actually does, too. These are, like, a capri. And, you guys, they are bedazzled. So that makes them that much better um someone's really gonna want those oh these are the, from the same person for sure another pair i didn't even realize the bedazzled um yeah another bedazzled pair all the bedazzles are there yes they are perfect and again the red tag is the tag on the butt no there's no tag on the butt on these no okay but red tag there so yeah the Louboutin of jeans not your daughter jeans sell really really well um so I'm thinking about 30 bucks each for those because they look like they're brand new and they're bedazzled so yes it gives me all the bedazzled not your daughter jeans um yeah so that's it that's the haul it was from one day um I've been pulling back a little bit on thrifting just because I've been getting some higher end um some higher end pieces and those are definitely more profit involved but more spending and like I said we are planning a wedding we are planning a honeymoon and we are purchasing a house so I'm trying to work smarter not harder so that's why I haven't um I have been posting I think just as many hauls but my haul videos have been a little bit shorter than what you guys may be used to from me but like I said, I'm trying to work smarter, not harder. And I'm definitely trying not to continue to post um, that much of my designer finds. I mean, I'll post them here and there, but it's just annoying because lots of people have lots of opinions on that. And I'm so thankful for people's opinions on that. But everybody needs to do what they have to do. And it's just, it is what it is when it comes to those high-end designers. Um, I just really rather not deal with people's opinion because not that I don't value people's opinion. I just, I'm going to do what I have to do. And I know a lot of people say you can't tell the difference. You can't tell the difference between fakes. Oh, fakes are really good. Yes, in that sense, some of them are. But I have never come across a fake that has been anything near to what a real one looks like. Like, you, China is good but they are not that good so i know there's a lot of mixed reviews on that and lots of criticism so i just rather not deal with it um i do show it on my what sold videos so that's that um maybe i'll start vlogging a little bit more about that i'm not too sure um if you guys want to see more of that definitely let me know 
because definitely that is working smarter and um, not harder. So in my opinion, everything is my opinion because this is my channel. So if you don't agree with my opinion, that's fine. I'm open to your comments, but just because you leave the comment and say it doesn't mean that it's going to change my opinion. I have my opinion, you have your opinion, and that's that. I'm just showing you guys what I do and it's what I do. It works for me. Maybe it doesn't work for you, but if you want to take some tips, then please, that's why my channel is here. Take some tips from it. So that wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, this is going up. I'm filming this on Monday and this is going up on Tuesday because my what sold is going to go up now in the afternoon. I'm kind of like trying to hold off. It's, I think it's like one or something. I'm trying to hold off from filming it. I like filming it a little bit later on Monday because lots of people haven't paid from the weekend, so it's fine. I am filming another one throughout the week, so I could just post it then. I'm going to go ahead, get some shipping done, edit this video, edit my what sold video, and post. So I will see you guys throughout the week. If you have any questions at all, please leave them in the comments or shoot me an email. My email is in the description box. So thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in my next video.